Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It is now winter, so we no longer can plant anything outside. So it's time to take things inside, have a little fun while we wait for spring to arrive. Today I'm going to show you how to grow peppers in mini hydroponic. I've done these videos many times, but in this one I'm going to try to consolidate and put everything in one video. That way you can know exactly what to do and grow these on your own. So this is a very fun project. It's also a very fun experiment if you want to cross peppers. It is also fun to get your children involved because you get to see the plants grow in front of your eyes. So I will cover exactly what you need to do and I'll list out all of the items you will need as well. So make sure to check the description. What I'm using here is my Aero Garden because it's a really nice compact unit that is good enough uh, to put on the table next to my computer desk so that I can see it grow while I work. Uh, you don't have to use the Aero Garden unit. You can buy some light setup on Amazon or eBay and try to create uh, a similar uh, setup and that should work. Uh, small units uh, that I use are made from empty water bottle so I'm gonna show you exactly how to make one okay you will need a water bottle something like this what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the water bottle right here you see where this little groove is so we're just gonna cut it just like that and then we will need a koozie so you drink uh, soft drinks or you have Christmas party this is the one I save for my Christmas parties so then you just put it in here like this and that would be your setup because the koozie is just gonna be a, uh, a cover to prevent lights from getting through into the nutrients because if you if you prevent lights from getting through then you will prevent algae from growing and if you don't have it, then algae will grow in your nutrients and it will try to suffocate your plants eventually. So this would reduce it. I mean, algae will still grow, but this will reduce it. Okay, and you will need a rock wool cube and you can buy this on Amazon. I will link you so that you can find this easily. This is a one and a half inch um, rock wool cube by one and a half inch. And you will need a two inch net cup. And the net cup, will fit the rock wool in there you see that perfectly and then all you have to do is drop your rock wool and your cube in there like that and we're going to start seed you see I already soaked the rock wool in advance because uh, that's to cut down the filming time and all I did was just put this underwater, run it through, and then make sure the rock wool is all completely soaked. And that is it. Just straight out of the faucet, nothing special. So we're going to start seeds. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, to start seeds, as I mentioned, you need to um, soak the rock wool in advance. And then uh, make sure the excess water runs out. You don't need it uh, super super wet just soak it make sure it absorb as much water it can hold and that's all you need so uh, it's always a good idea to start multiple seeds that way you can guarantee that something will grow so I'm gonna poke an extra hole here there's one already created in the middle so I'm gonna put an extra one there and then I would put my seeds in there okay so we're going to place the seeds right in one of the in those holes right there okay and now just try to close the hole up like this and then you just need to put your koozie on okay and then next what you want to do is put a ziplock on top or anything that can cover the seed because this will prevent moisture from escaping and that way you don't have to add water too often and the seeds should sprout in seven to ten days all right this is about i think it's almost four weeks old and this is what it's going to look like after about four weeks and you will notice that roots will come out to the bottom of the net cup. Let me 
take it out so you can see. You see that? So that is after, I, I would say about four weeks. I forgot to put a label on this on the date. So that should be around there. So at this stage, you can actually feed it hydroponic nutrients. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here it is, my hydroponic nutrients. I have it pre-mixed, one gallon at a time. And it's very simple. I'll show you what I use. And this is what I use, the DinoGrow Series 795. I will link you where you can get this. And uh, for one gallon, you need five milliliter of this. And then you, you need to use pH down to bring it down to about 5.9 pH. And then for the uh, pH meter, you can get this cheap one on Amazon. It's like maybe $12. So that's, that's as simple as it can get. You fill the uh, bottle up here with one gallon of water. Uh, drop the solution in your, your, your Dynagro, uh, 5 milliliter per gallon. And then you shake it up and then you adjust the pH and then you add pH down to bring it down to about 5.9. Uh, I have a ton of videos on how to do this already. I'll try to add it to this, uh, to this video and, uh, or link it so you can see. And what you're going to do now, add the nutrients. And you want to add the nutrients until it reaches the bottom of the net cup. So let's go ahead and add it. You see the roots is touching the nutrients right now and that is all you need and then we'll put this back and then we put it under our lights okay and then these plants here are six weeks old so uh, you can see they're a little bit bigger I think they're six six or five weeks but around there <laughs> I, I keep losing track of them you see they're they have more roots now, so as soon as the roots come out, they will start to pick up the nutrients, and then they will send more roots down, and then that's when they're gonna start to grow really fast. You see here? That's the roots there. Okay, and then in about a few months, then you get plants like this it will produce nice fruits and everything so this plant has been over three months because my fruits are almost ready to be collected for seeds so I would take these seeds and grow them again same way that way I can rush it and get new generations quickly and then uh, at this stage they do drink a little faster you see all the roots in there so when you refill you're gonna do the exact same thing you can wait until the the plant drinks the entire thing but if you'd wait then it may start to stress so you you kind of like wait until it, it drinks it to the bottom like almost completely and then you're going to refill it and to refill you you need to do um, the refill where the nutrient is exactly the same as we did earlier where it touches the net cup and you don't want to go over that because if you do your plant is going to suffocate and die so uh, you can have it like touching the net cup or slightly. I recommend slightly under because you, you see the roots above is already long so it can reach the, uh, the water. And then the roots around the side here, those are your air roots so they can pick up oxygen. So that's how the plants breathe even though the roots are submerged in, in the nutrients here. So uh, it's, it's best to let it go down all the way low and then you pour the, the excess out and then add the nutrients back in because um, pepper plants like to pick up what they need and then they'll leave uh, the excess behind. So if you keep refilling and refilling and refilling without uh, washing all that out, then your plant is going to stress because it leaves all of the other particles in there that the plants don't need. So um, it's always good to just, it's pretty simple, just pour it out and then add, add new nutrients and that's it. So then you can do that throughout your, um, your winter break and then you have fun projects and fun peppers to use. You see, even a small plant like this, you can get um, 
pretty good amount of parts. I actually uh, plucked some off, like because I didn't want too many. I want the fruits to be bigger, and I want it to ripen up quickly. So I only allow the plant to produce only a few. So that is it, guys. That is the complete guide on how to grow these uh, peppers in hydroponic in small systems. And uh, let me explain how the lights work so you can see. Okay, so when you are starting seeds, uh, like just what we did here, you can just leave it outside at Aragorn if you like. You can put it underneath, inside, put it here. It really doesn't matter because seeds don't need too much light to sprout. So as soon as they sprout it, you're going to need to give it plenty of lights because if you don't, then it's going to stretch and look weak and tall for no reason. So you don't want tall plants because tall plants are weak plants and that means that the light is not enough. So you want it to look like this. You see how short that is? And that's, that's how you want it. And uh, the, a sign of uh, not enough light is when you, your plants are tall and skinny and the section between each node is over an inch long and that that's not good so it should be nice and short and the the stalk should be a little thick okay so then as the plant grow because this is only a 45 watt so you can actually have the plants right up to it like this and it should be fine so right now is at its lowest so as the plant grow you can just raise it but because my pepper plants i i don't allow it to grow too tall that it doesn't have to raise too much uh, so usually what I do is if the plant is um, growing too tall, then I'll, I'll pinch it, which means uh, people call it topping. And topping basically prevent the plant from growing too tall and then it'll, it'll grow side shoots like that. And uh, the side shoots are actually good for um, when you're growing inside because nutrients are always available. So your plant is going to get a lot of nutrients that it needs. And so topping it should not be a problem in hydroponic. And because indoor, uh, you're not challenged by season. You can grow all year long. So topping the plants will set it back, but it will come back. And because it's inside, it's always nice and warm, so it doesn't matter. You can just let it grow all year long and it will grow nicely. So topping is always uh, good indoors. But if you top outdoors, you have to kind of like adjust for your season. So you don't want to top your plants in the mid of the season because it may take a few months to come back. And then by then, um, you may get frost. Okay? So as the plant grow, you just need to raise your lights. So what I recommend is um, because these lights are not very, very hot. You see how I can put my hand right here and I feel nothing. You can have it like two to three inches away from the plant and it will do just fine. But if you have those hot lights, um, like HID, which, I mean, it's not gonna work for this type of setup, but I'm just saying if you grow under HIDs or uh, other plants uh, light that are super hot, then you need to have it at least uh, 12 inches to 18 inches away so that it won't burn your plant. But for these setups here, um, these are LED lights, they're not very hot, so you can, you can have it all the way up to an inch even sometimes i have it touching and it, it it would it would be just fine so um lighting is very important um if it's like i mentioned if your plants lack light you can tell because it's going to stretch and become skinny and tall and you don't want that so uh give it a, a good lighting like I mentioned, around two to three inches away from these type of LED lights and they will grow nice and strong and would look short like that and would produce good amount of peppers. So that is it guys. So to summarize, uh, to mix your nutrients, you need five milliliter of the Dino Grow series. Uh, your pH should be 5.9 and it's a gallon of water. And um, these plastic bags here is just to keep moisture from escaping. And uh, you need plenty of lights, so the height of your light is very important. And also, if you have algae on top of the rock wool, you can add hydrogen, those like hydrogens or whatever they call it, those clay pebbles. You just put it around, and that would prevent lights from coming through. So you 
but but the koozie here or any kind of cover will also help okay so that is it guys so i hope you find this helpful for your growing and um, experiment indoor uh, growing small peppers in hydroponics this size i can even grow herbs these are my pepperomia uh, herbs will do extremely well like basil um, and you can even grow lettuce in this method you can actually get really good lettuce heads uh, using this simple method so um, a small space like this you can see i have like a few plants so uh, try it out guys and let me know what you think and if you have any questions just leave it below and thank you so much for watching